Right. Um, which one goes? Which one's the? So orange goes first. Mhm. Mm okay. So this one. It's got to be. Sapling. Not really much point in. No, orange goes first. Why put it in the green? It's a good question. You numb nut. Oh crap, where the... Did you just pull all the saplings out? There you go. This deployer. Near me. Okay, I'll do it. I was doing it. Doing it wrong. Right, done. What am I doing? Can I have a bit of dirt, please? Thank you. That deploy's got loads of dirt in it. And deployers don't need dirt, do they? So what's up with that? <laughs> Dirt and cobblestone, all sorts. Okay, so... Torches. We should now theoretically be set up. Um, oh, almost. Almost? Yeah. I'll do it for testing purposes. The reason torches are there, for anyone who doesn't know, you need to have torch enough light to make sure that it will grow. Otherwise the sapling just pings itself out the floor. Now. One there. One there. One there. And one there. I didn't do nothing. It worked. Let's plant the sapling on this side and that side. Why nothing here? There's no saplings, no saplings in this deployer. Why are there no saplings in it? She took them out. No sapling in either of these deployers. Right. Go ahead. Hello. I um I need to get offline. Okay. Okay, no problem. Have fun. See you and uh the YouTubes very soon. Take it <laughs> easy, man. Bye bye. I don't know about you, but I'm seeing a major issue with your design of having the gates at all. The, the and gate things. Why? Because how are you going to make it bone, 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 bone until they're all grown? Yeah, that's what I was thinking a minute ago. We need um, timers. The thing that I'm interested in right now is why did that not take all the wood out? What do you mean? There's half a tree still there. See, look. So it only works when all of them exist. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's look. You didn't because there's delay a signal on. These on. We need a. Oh my dear. You need to put delay up on these. Um, I just want to alert you to something. What's that? Up we go. Yeah, I know. I knew that was going to happen. That's why you need to fill all the spaces in. But but this needs to take longer. So orange goes first. I think it it need it needs a pulse former. 
Um, in all honesty. Why is this happening? There's something wrong with the block breakers on this side. Yes, they're, they're blocked because they've had a signal that hasn't switched off. No. Well, it's they're, they're not... clogged up. There's nothing. Um... There is a space from Skype because this chest is connected directly to the tube system, straight up the middle. There's only one place for everything to go straight into a chest, so which has this massive why are... space. Why are these ones staying on? Quite probably, they're receiving power from the blocks next to them. Which is why you should use insulated wire. Okay, let's do it. Uh, what colour? It's at this point that I really am not that fast. Well, have you not got any colours on you? Oh, well, I've got some colours on me. Other than orange and green? No, I've got magenta, but only oh, three go. bits. Oh, thank you. I'm coming through on your mic again. I've actually turned you down. You're not my type. I think I've got white. Well, it should be magenta. Well, no, because we've only got three bits of magenta. You got loads of white? 26. I'll go back up then. Oh shit, fell down. We need to go four high. It should just go all the way up. Is that right? Looks like it might be. Okay. Although it's not connected up here now. Are you ready to try again? Hang on. I'm making sure they're all connected because there was one that wasn't, so... Yeah, look, there's another one that isn't. To do that from the top. One more block and it's going to fire. Uh, got it. Now, just thinking. Rather than having it only trigger if all of them are growing and needing a counter at the bottom. We can do it so that it triggers if only one is growing. Yeah? That means as soon as one grows, it will do the signal and it will rebone the others. So we'll have a greater chance of them growing. Again, it's at this point that I want to just walk away from you. What? This is what I was saying at the beginning that I don't see why you want to put it all together. Why don't you just have it so that each one you. Trial and error, man. I asked you why you wanted them all to be firing at the same time because you're going to need. Because I prefer it that way. But it's it's not the right way to do it. We're out of saplings. We got any saplings up here? I think we might have thirteen. 
and 13 logs as well. <laughs> Ah, oh, that didn't work. What didn't work? Well, look. Screw the tree. Yeah? Why does he not cut them down? Because he's waiting for an input on all. I thought we said we... I thought you changed it. I haven't, we haven't... We haven't no, changed haven't, it yet, have we? haven't even begun to change it. Good. How can you... What, you just mirac magically, miraculously believe it's going to happen? Right, let's do it. So, signal from any. That was hard, wasn't it? Chop. Okay, there we go, wood. Safe. And the sapling. Now... Let's try this again. Yeah, but surely it should have boned it. One of them should have grown with that bone meal, surely. Hmm. Nope. That one might have just grown a second tree. Yeah, there was a load of wood that came up. So. The bone mill. At least just the bone mill needs to keep ticking. Which is easy to do down here. Mm. Do you want me to go get a timer? Um, a timer and a toggle latch. Toggle latch, why the do we need Or a timer latch? or a timer and a counter. Why do we need that? Well so that it doesn't go like mental forever. Say it say it it allows it to tick for you know, ten times. And if one doesn't grow in those ten times then it's gonna shut off and switch off and, and calm down. <laughs> It doesn't matter, I can just slap a timer right next to this, to this thing, this thing. Uh, repeater. Timer. Set to what? Uh, four seconds. For now. Okay. Need an input. Oh, we need to connect the redstone tube to the other tubes, that's all. Mm -hmm. Tree just grew, another tree just grew. I have one pneumatic tube. Ugh. We need to get tubes. We need to fill in these spaces as well. Bloody hell. Right. Can we stop this for gro from growing for a sec? Um, well, yeah. Ha, I've just turned the time around so that when it, when it grows a tree, it restarts the timer. So it doesn't keep doing it every four seconds, like... And pumping it out at the wrong, uh, opposite opposite times. It grows a tree. It resets the timer to wait four seconds again. Oh, cool. Right, you want to stop this growing. It should be relatively simple. Yeah, for now. Done, I think. Yep, there you go. Right. 
The redstone tube is now connected up to the tubes for the deployers. Okay. And unboxing some of this in. But only some of it. Wait, you've connected the tube in the middle to the tubes at the side? Yeah. Okay, but I don't know. Why did I do that? Yeah. You're not, you're only well, going to get wood. it's been pulling up saplings, isn't it? Well, it will do, won't it? Because they're not all grown. Well, that way, the saplings go back round into the system. That's true. But we don't need that because it's not going to have leaves. Hmm. Well, it will have saplings when it's picking them up. That's a good point. So leave that fine. Leave that as it is. That's fine. Yep, we'll need an overflow as well. I don't think we will. Yeah, we will. I'm sure of it. What for? Because... Okay, now it's time to talk about the sapling farm. Yeah, this is where it gets a little bit more technical. Most tree farms are a pain in the arse to collect saplings. So that you the have saplings to manually keep... do it, or you yeah. do it with... Even with red power, you're trying to get transposers to pick up stuff from all over the floor. Yeah, and... or people build them on top of water and all the rest of it. Now, if you can eliminate the trees from growing saplings, then no, you don't get saplings. If you can eliminate the trees from growing leaves... That's the one, leaves. If you can eliminate the trees from growing leaves, you won't get saplings and apples and stuff fall all over the place. But that way you run out of saplings, obviously. Yes, tube farms being the case in point there. There's a lot of people that use... Just literally just use it to grow the centre column yeah. and nothing else. So what we decided we were going to do is make a saplings farm alongside that will feed the tree farm. Yes. And yeah. hopefully we'll get apple, apple, little, little, apples from it as well. Obviously, everyone now watching this is thinking, hang on, you're growing trees and then you're going to make a farm somewhere else, but surely you need to grow a tree to get saplings? Uh, well, no, you don't actually. Because this is where it gets curious. Hmm. You can harvest a block of leaves and then you can use a deployer to deploy them and then you can put some shears in what machine is it? In a deployer. You can put some shears in another deployer which will shear it and then you get the leaves back and also every now and then it will drop saplings. So we're going to test this theory, make yeah. sure everything's still working out and works out fine. And we're going to see if we can get some little saplings. All right, let's go do it. In my workshop. Okay. Me and you. Together. In no, your workshop. Work. Bloody slime. It's all right, they're on fire. Have you got a fire sword? Pa. I really don't need these slimes. Uh, the slime balls. Right. Oh, I don't need that. Oh, I don't need that. 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 Do you want to dump everything off? Right, I don't need any of that. Oh, God. Too much crap. Now, anyone watching, if you want to get rid of rotten flesh or gravel or anything like that, throw one nice valuable thing in the pile with all the rest of it. And someone will not be able to resist going over there and pick it up. Is that a pro tip? Yeah, pro tip. Which means you throw it all away and they have to deal with it. Personally, I make a disposal unit and just chuck everything in there. Well, I don't really get rid of my gravel. That's how much of a hoarder I am. 
I have chests full of gravel. I'm digging right, out my project area. 